Hello and welcome to another edition of the Mayor Dan Pletko Show. I'm so glad to have as my guest today someone who is representing Dearborn Heights in a great way through pageants and has currently been named Miss Michigan Amazing Marilyn Manchild. So Marilyn, thank you for being my guest. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So when did this event take place that you were uh, crowned? It actually took place the first weekend of November, so it's fairly recent. I've actually only had my title for two weeks, but within that two weeks, I've already done the Royal Oak Holiday Magic Parade, and it was amazing, as one could expect. But I, uh, I really look forward to filling out the rest of my year with more events and appearances and really doing my city proud. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, are there awards or grants that you get uh, along with the uh, crown that you received? Or? Yes. So along with this, we get obviously apparel, like a crown and a sash, and then we get modeling opportunities. So in a couple weeks, I will be going to Ohio for a runway seminar, and then at the end of January, um, those same coaches will be coming here for a photo shoot seminar, and we get really great opportunities with public speaking, volunteerism, you know, kind of getting to empower other women as well through our works in the community. So. It's a really good experience, and I think that those prizes are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, you seem to be very accomplished, very, uh, um, I, I don't know what the proper term, but you seem to have a good feel for uh, what you're doing, so I think you were a good choice. So <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, are you in school right now? Or? I am. I currently go to Henry Ford, but I'm going to be at U of M in the winter, so go blue. Um, I am on the business track, so I'm pre-business right now, but hopefully at the beginning of next year I will be able to fully declare my business major. Very good, very good. Now, uh, which uh, area high school did you graduate from? I graduated from Divine Child High School in Dearborn. Okay. I went there for 10 years, and I graduated magna cum laude, which was with high honors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had uh, my daughter uh, achieved an honor like that, so she gave... <laughs> Remember, the biggest thing is she had to give the um, um, speech at the end of the year, and uh, but she did very well at it. So, uh, but that's a that's a great honor. So Thank you'll you. you'll do well at U of M. It's tough competition over there. So, yeah. but uh, if that you reach that status at Divine Child, I'm sure you'll be fine. So, how busy is your um, schedule now? You probably have a ton of events that you now have to go to. I do. Um, they're probably every couple weeks and the pageant gives me events and then I try, I want to work through the Dearborn Heights and get my own events for that. So every couple weeks I'll have an event and then it's, I think it's manageable with school and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's too much but just enough. Well I can relate to that. There probably is not a day that goes by that I don't have at least one <laughs> event in the evening and on the weekends there's mm -hmm. usually five or six. So. Uh, uh, but but it seems like if you like people and like mm -hmm. meeting people and, and uh, get an opportunity, then it's a great uh, yeah. job. But I, it, these are not kind of occupations or, or items for everyone because <laughs> if you, uh, there have been some days where I, you know, you reach a day where you're just extremely tired <laughs> and, uh, but you got to get up and be your best, so. My favorite is when I am very tired and I wake up and I see all the kids that I get to see at events and how excited they are to see me. That's kind of what little gives me a little kick to mm -hmm. keep on going for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. So now, do you have other siblings or? I do. I have an older brother who's going to be 23 and then my younger sister is 16. And she actually competed in this past pageant with me. She didn't place, but it was her first one and she had a, a really good time. So. We're actually very, very close. Good. I would consider them my best friends and we really do everything together. Excellent, excellent. Uh, how long have you been competing in pageants then? I actually haven't even been competing in pageants for a full year. So wow. I competed in Miss Michigan USA in the last weekend of September and this pageant kind of came up and surprised me. So I was really expecting to take a year off and then I got a message from the director saying that she would really like me to come out and try this pageant and I was like oh it might be a little too soon but 
after I looked into the pageant and saw that it was an organ a nonprofit organization for youth advancement and that you know it's a non bikini competition and it's for girls from seven to twenty seven and I saw all the opportunities that I would get I really I really wanted to do it so two weeks after Miss Michigan USA I competed in this and I really didn't expect anything to come out of it and I was probably more shocked than anyone else in the audience when I won but it probably the past six months has been the beginning of my pageant career and after this one I hope it's not my last and I hope that I would still be able to work in the pageant community still doing service for my own community as well as educating girls about the positive light of pageants mm -hmm. instead of what everyone else always misconstrues them as. Mm -hmm. A couple times uh, as a certified public accountant I actually counted ballots at pageants. As I recall there was a, uh, a talent, uh, the, the women were dressed in evening gowns mm -hmm. which was another part of it and then they were asked to um, answer some questions and stuff. Mm -hmm. But there was also an interview process that yes. went on prior yes. that was not like five minutes. And so no. they, they really, so was that how yours was? That there was categories and yes. you, okay. So they changed it up a little bit this year. Instead of having a full on interview with judges, we got five minutes for a presentation. So we got to present why we think that we deserve to win Miss Michigan Amazing, which I don't know about you, but I'd rather have a bunch of people ask me a bunch of questions instead of being able to stand up and give a presentation. It's a little nerve wracking, but it was, it was very unique. Mm -hmm. So most pageant systems, you just kind of get questions thrown at you and sometimes you get cut off and whatnot, but this gave, more opportunity for almost not like a speech but a very well told story and I really like that and then after that we did um, an introduction so we actually learned to dance which I am not the best at dancing in front of people but it was an experience and then we had model wear and then that actually kind of took the place of where most pageants would put their bikini portion in and then we had evening gown and then we had an onstage question after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah I think a lot of people would not fully appreciate but I mean uh, just in the short time we were conversing I you know I could tell that I could see how they picked you. I mean you are a very beautiful woman but Thank at you. the same time uh, your personality and your um, uh, shows that you know you're an intelligent young woman Thank so you. that's uh, that's great that's great I like to think so myself <laughs> sometimes but <laughs> that's only my own opinion well you were you. Uh, what was the magna cum laude you said or yes okay so that, I mean <laughs> that that says a lot because you, you went to high school that's pretty tough to go to too so <laughs> so that that says a lot uh, what type of uh, outside interest besides uh, doing pageants do you have as an in, that you like to do I really like to read. You don't hear that from a lot of people my age. Um, since I started college, it hasn't been the type of novels that I used to. I really like to read uh, current articles about maybe culture or fashion. I really like fashion and I actually love to do makeup. <laughs> I have just a little knack for doing that. So my mom is a hairdresser, so I grew up in a salon. And just being around hair and makeup all the time I've grown up with it and it's kind of just a way of life. So that's probably one of my main hobbies outside of pageantry. It's always uh, early in my career at Ford Motor Company, I never, little did I ever think I'd have involvement with high-end um, fashion, but uh, I was involved in the uh, building and, uh, of the Renaissance Center oh. and we had uh, Ford had some high fashion Lan Van Courage and so I got to have an appreciation. I remember that the big thing was when I walked in there and I found out that the cheapest suit on sale was about $1,700 <laughs> but uh, uh, they, the material mm -hmm. and everything I mean it really so I, I can look at somebody in a suit or even in clothing and mm -hmm. I, I, I appreciate uh, the more high-end fashion because mm -hmm. the clothing is it has yeah. a feel to it a fit that sometimes mm -hmm. you can't buy and but 
seventeen hundred dollars. I don't know what the dresses were, but they probably were you know eight nine hundred dollars oh, too. Especially when it comes to pageant dresses, they get a little pricey. <laughs> really? Mm hmm. So some dresses you can get them more affordable around two hundred, but some of the couture dresses actually go for thousands of dollars. Just out of curiosity, where would one go for a pageant dress? <laughs> You can actually go to any major dress store. So one of my favorites actually just closed. It was a Crestwood owned business. It was called Bridal Magic. Their building was out in Canton. So I had gone there for years. Mm -hmm. And then um, there are like Eva's Bridal. And okay. then there are a couple other places. You can luck out at David's Bridal. But if you want to go to high end, there are places in Ohio called Cloud Nine or Viper Apparel here in Michigan. So those are the name brand pageant dress places, but you can really find, even at JCPenney's, you can find a really nice dress. Mm -hmm. I like things more affordable. I always go for the sale rack at so, the pageant places. So just out of curiosity, with with shoes and your dress and everything, then a woman being prepared to be at a pageant, would that represent a thousand dollars? It could. Um, it depends on how much your fees are. So if you're in a more mainstream pageant, the fees are almost a thousand themselves, and then on top of your clothes and everything, that could rack up to about two grand if you don't get sponsors. For this one, it's more affordable because it is a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. So the fees were very affordable, and I actually went and got a dress from a place called Windsor. So this pageant actually only cost me less than two hundred dollars. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, I I would have never thought that. And it's not like NASCAR where you get sponsorship and you're going to have a uh, shell sticker or something mm -hmm. like that on the side. Okay. Uh, how many uh, women competed when you went for the, the pageant? So this year there were three in the Miss Division, but there were six in the teen. So this is a newer formed pageant. I think they've only been around for about five years mm -hmm. and they're actually expanding. So we have three states right now, but we're in the process of getting more states so we can have a national pageant. So it's just, you know, we're followed by hundreds of pageants across the world and that helps build the pageant. So the more you're known, the more girls will come out. So I'm really hoping that through my year and being able to show how awesome this pageant is and how great my directors are and the wonderful opportunities that I'm given that I'll be able to get more girls to want to be involved because mm -hmm. it is about community service. It's not just about looks. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the one thing that a lot of girls in pageants aren't really focused on is something when it comes to community service. And that's the one thing that I really wanted to get involved in when I started pageants, was being able to help other people by my position. So I think that this one is a great pageant for that. Mm -hmm. Have you focused on a particular um, area that you're gonna concentrate on or? Yes, so it is called a pageant platform. So my pageant, pageant platform is children with hair loss. So it is a not-for-profit company that makes affordable wigs for children who either have alopecia or cancer or any type of disease that causes them to lose their hair. And growing up in a hair salon, to me that's important. Mm -hmm. Many, many girls think hair is one of the most important things to have. And growing up as a child, I don't think I would have been able to be as, not as strong, but a lot of women value their hair and it's something that they don't think about going without and it's hard to grow up as it is now anyway growing up without hair would make it even worse and i think that that is very important for these children to have wigs that are affordable and comfortable and really help with the process of the disease that they're going through i am actually familiar with that i have a good friend of mine and and i remember she said uh she said well i'm gonna cut my hair off and donate it mm -hmm. and and uh, and it grew back relatively yeah. thick, but but it, yeah, she looked different. But her mm -hmm. mom, her sister, her sister sat there because she was jealous. She goes, "You got much better hair than I do. You can't cut your hair off, you yeah. know." And and so I I actually uh, got a little sensitized to some of that, but uh, 
the individuals who needed it, like I think these were mostly cancer mm -hmm. patients, but very young girls, and the look in their eye when they got their, the hair uh, was just it really, mm -hmm. I don't know that you can describe it, but they just, uh, you, it was so touching. Mm -hmm. So I actually thought that uh, Laura did the right thing, although, yeah, when I first <laughs> saw her, I'm like, oh my God, Laura, you look so much different, yeah. but, but she knew what she was doing. I've donated my hair in the past when I was younger and it really is, you feel good inside knowing that you're helping someone else and I've seen videos of little girls receiving their wigs and there's just, there's nothing that can compare to that in the world. Yeah. Being able from something that you don't even, that you take for granted sometimes, just having hair and that mm -hmm. you can give to someone who doesn't have it and it's no cost to you. It's, it's really a good feeling. Wow, that is fantastic. Um, uh, very impressive. I'm uh, very impressed by that. That uh, That's very worthy and says a lot for you um, that you're doing that. So um, I uh, think we've covered quite a bit <laughs> on the pageantry and some of your future goals. Mm -hmm. And so we very definitely wish you the best in the Thank future. You. And I'm sure we'll be seeing you around. We want to have you uh, come to as many events as you can in Dearborn Heights. To. And the whole community, I sure I speak for them when I say we're very proud of you. you. And we know you're going to represent uh, Michigan, uh, Miss Michigan Amazing and the city of Dearborn Heights in a great way. Thank you. And good luck to you, Marilyn. And thank you. Thank you for being a guest on the Dan Pletko Show. Thank you for having and me. And thank you for all of you out there watching another day of the Mayor Dan Pletko Show.